Hello and welcome to LEGO Accuracy, where I see how accurate LEGO sets are to the movies that they are based on. This time, I am seeing how accurate the LEGO sets based off of Batman 1989 are to the movie. At the moment, there are currently three total sets and five total minifigures based off of Batman 1989. Now first, let's see how accurate the minifigures are. The first minifigure is Batman, and this is pretty accurate mainly because of the new cowl and cape piece that is really accurate to how it was in the movie. And the torso printing is also good. Now there is no leg printing, but I don't think that is really needed. Where this minifigure fails in accuracy is the head printing. They didn't even make a new head print for this figure. It was just a standard Batman head print. Michael Keaton's face is nothing like that head print and is more unique. Also, in the movie, the eyes aren't just white, they are regular eyes with the black makeup around them that most of the live action Batman movies do, but Lego never does it this way and they just use the standard white eyes. So this minifigure could have been really accurate, and most of it is, but it's just that face print that lets it down. I give this an accurate score of 8 out of 10. The second minifigure is Joker, and I think this one is better than Batman. He has a lot more printing, which makes sense because his outfit has has a lot more details to it, but the printing is just great. The torso, the legs, and that face print is just fantastic. Now he only has the hat, which I like that they included the hat even though that hat piece isn't exactly like his hat in the movie, it's the best hat to use that LEGO actually has a piece for. But they didn't include his hair. They have the perfect hair piece for not just this Joker, but for all Joker minifigures. But they only have used it for one Joker minifigure, the Dark Knight Returns Joker in the collectible minifigure series. I just don't understand how they haven't used that hair piece more for him yet, but that's besides the point. This minifigure looks great and is really accurate. I give this an accurate score of 9.5 out of 10. The third minifigure is Vicky Bale, and I think the printing details are as accurate as possible. But the main thing that isn't accurate is the color of her outfit. In the movie, it is more of a blue color, but this minifigure is green, and I just don't understand that. What were they even looking at for them to decide that this is green? But whatever. That's really my only problem with the torso and legs. Like I said, the printing details are good and accurate. The hair piece is standard and the face print isn't new, but I think they both work well enough. So this minifigure would be really accurate if it wasn't for the color of the outfit, so I give this an accurate score of 7 out of 10. The fourth minifigure is Mime Joker, and this is a great variant to the Joker, and I see nothing wrong with this minifigure. All of the printing is fantastic all around. Again, it doesn't have the hair, but it isn't needed as much on this version. He even comes with the pen that he uses in the scene. This is just a great spot on accurate minifigure. I give this an accurate score of 10 out of 10. The fifth and final minifigure is Lawrence, who is one of Joker's goons. This figure was an odd choice for this set. Like, if you were going to do one of Joker's goons, why not do Bob, his number one guy? But that doesn't change the fact that this is a good minifigure. And again, I see nothing inaccurate about this minifigure. He has his great mustache and glasses, and the printing on the torso is really good. There is no leg printing, but it isn't needed. So this is just another really accurate figure. I give this an accurate score of 10 out of 10. So that's it for the minifigures. The most accurate minifigures are Mime Joker and Lawrence, but if I had to pick one, it would be Mime Joker because he has more details. The least accurate minifigure is Vicky Vale, and this wasn't a bad figure, it's just the green color that does this one in. It should have been blue. Now let's see how accurate the sets are. The first set is the 1989 Batmobile, and this isn't minifigure scale, but that isn't going to factor into how accurate it is. But since it is at a bigger scale, it can fit a lot more of the details that it wouldn't be able to if it was smaller. Now this set is pretty perfect. I don't see how it could get more accurate. All of the shaping and details are great, and it really looks like the one in the movie. It even has the feature where the guns can come up, so this one is just great. I give it an accurate score of 10 out of 10. The second set is the 1989 Batmobile Limited Edition, and this one is minifigure scale, which means it has less of the details and is less accurate. But it's still a decent set. The shaping is not as good as the bigger one, and the guns are stud shooters, which is not ideal. The wheels don't have the bat logos on them, and the overall shape is more rough, but at this scale, it was done the best it could be. And if we didn't have the bigger one to compare it to, it wouldn't be seen as bad. So I give this an accurate score of 8 out of 10. The third and final set is the 1989 Batwing, and similar to the bigger Batmobile, it is pretty much perfect. It's hard for me to find any flaws with this one. They did a really good job on the shape of it, and it looks how it's supposed to. I may not like it as much as the Batmobile, but that doesn't change the fact that it is about the same level as accuracy as it, so I give this an accuracy score of 10 out of 10. So those are all of the sets. The most accurate sets are the 1989 Batmobile and the 1989 Batwing. They are on the 
the same level of accuracy, so I can't say one over the other, but that leaves the least accurate to the 1989 Batmobile Limited Edition, which is good for that scale, but just couldn't be as accurate. The designers really did a good job with these sets, and they couldn't have done much better. A few of the minifigures could have been a little better with the color of Vicky Vale's outfit and maybe a new face print for Batman, but the builds for the sets themselves are pretty much perfect. So anyway, that's all I have to say, so see you next time, goodbye.